standing atop of an Italian excellent boat that's built for the American market. The Azimuth 40 Merv is the only outboard power Azimuth on the lineup. Azimuth makes boats all not up into the high 70 foot range. This one being a center console inspired day boat and or weekender with a two plus two cabin. I say center console inspired because we can still enjoy the open bow seating, the enormous cockpit here at the transom, uh, walk around the console and enjoy the day boating, but we've got some Azimut Italian inspired features as we go down below with a huge kitchen, galley, two plus two galley, and master bath or master bedroom up front. The boat is powered by triple Mercury 350 Verado, so you've got that outboard safety and comfort from a maintenance and reliability standpoint. Uh, your larger dry stack marinas have the opportunity to dry stack store this boat. The boat is bottom painted, it could be kept in a slip, but we've got joystick piloting, outboard quiet power, supercharged Verados to have that low end and high end torque while maintaining an incredible level of fuel efficiency uh, that this boat will have around a 250 mile, 250 mile cruise range. We're gonna step into the boat and look at the elegant seating. We say center console and a lot of people think fishing boat. You look at this boat and I think the last thing that comes to mind is fishing. We've got this wonderful wooden table here at the rear with the marble inlay. We've got controls at the helm that will lower this table down and make it even with the uh, seat cushions around the back and turn it into a large sun lounge. We talk about a weekender and an entertainer and we see that we've got the swim platform that opens up the side of the boat, you know, the width from here to the transom and raises this to the point where we could go in and out of the water, the kids can enjoy it uh, and, and turn it into essentially a dive boat or uh, something to jump on and off. This section here as social zone number one, as I said, has the opportunity to put this marble table down with the filler cushion and turn it into a sun lounge, or we take this rear facing cushion, unlock it, and bring that crowd, you know, three wide to hang out here. We've got a cook station, water, or, uh, you know, sink and water station here, storage, refrigerator on either side but over here we've got access to a wonderful Kenyan electric grill as well as food prep station so we could truly enjoy social zone, social zone number one on top of the refrigerators on either side still have that protective coating on them we've got an optional wine cooler hidden up here huge storage behind this one here access to some of our work components there as well as the ever so popular sea keeper five that's going to keep the boat more comfortable on the water longer keep mama happy on the spouse saver five is really what they ought to be called that is going to eliminate any side to side roll as we go and cruise to our spot or go to enjoy the boat that sea keeper is an incredible feature that makes the boats a lot more comfortable big power sunshade that i didn't speak to Another item that's going to keep longer days on the water and keep you cool. The boat is just absolutely jam-packed with features and benefits that we can enjoy and cruise and do the intercoastal trips, do the Bimini trips, um, or even just go out to Shell Island. If we want to stay overnight between the diesel generator, air conditioning, and Sea Keeper, we've got the option to do so and be comfortable. Uh, we're going to take a pause. We're going to work our way up to the helm here, and we'll take a look at some more of the features for the captain and or passengers right here up at the center. As we step to the helm of the Azimut 40 Verve, there's no shortness of comfort and no shortness of equipment. I wanted to make sure before we pan to the electronics that we took a look at these seats. This is an elevated helm and we sit three wide, adjustable armrest for everybody all the way across. We do have those bolsters that if I wanna sit comfortably and rest my feet and sit and drive, I've found in my hours spent on the boat that it's one of the only center consoles and day boats that I wanna sit rather than stand. Most center consoles, I find myself wanting to prop myself up laying against those raised up bolsters and drive. 
the express cruiser hole with the center console inspired top half, I'll find myself kicking the bolster down, adjusting up, down, front to back, and setting my feet here, having those comfortable direct electronic control Mercury electronics and or autopilot, and I sit back and cruise. It is a battle line, gray, soft touch vinyl. Um, it's hard to explain without seeing it in person, as it has similar components to a marine vinyl, but it's a soft cloth touch that's gonna keep it stain free and not look as dingy, but still be cool like a cloth fabric. As we work our way over to the helm, we get a good look at the eight inch step that's gonna provide the captain more viewing space, as well as the aircraft grade electronics. I joke about that, but this thing is no shortness of electronics. This azimuth specifically has the advanced electronics upgrade package that's optional from the factory. A couple key features that I would look as I look across, we've got the Axiom Pros, the uh, most up-to-date Raymarine hybrid touch GPS fish finders. Uh, we've got a mess of electronics included in those uh, between our autopilot, our Mercury vessel view, our GPS, our sonar. We have dynamic running surface with our auto tab controls that are gonna self level side to side and front to back. We have the optional bow thruster on top of the joystick. It is a joystick featured boat, but once you get in these large 40 foot cruisers with trip out boards, the bow thruster allows us to be more responsive on a day like today where it is, it's brisk, it's windy. We've got gusts up to 17 knots. It's gonna allow me to park in a slip like we are now they had to come around the fuel dock and get it in. I've got joystick running, bringing my stern over, and then I might tap that bow thruster and swing the bow in and lay me up against the dock nice and soft. Um, between the active auto or the auto trim tabs and the active end control, you got fat fingers hitting the windshield wipers in the background, as well as all of our switches all across the board there. Uh, like I said, there's no shortness of equipment, electronics, and everything that the boat has to offer. Before we step down below, we're gonna take a quick peek at the social zone number three up on the bow and look at some of those optional bow cushions, bow lounge, and table for people that are gonna enjoy the front of the boat. Not an opportunity you get much on an express cruiser, not an opportunity you're gonna get on a 40 foot day boat that we can ride back here in the back that we've already looked at down below in the air conditioning or up front, which seems to be right where my kids and my spouse and you know her girlfriends wanna ride up front watch the dolphins, watch what's going on outside. Um, but we're gonna take a pause here. We're gonna walk around the center console that's extremely spacious on this, you know, 13 foot, seven inch beam and walk up front and check out the, uh, the seating we've got across the front. So we're hosing the deck of the boat off to knock some of the dust off and it hits me on how convenient it is to board this azimuth. It is a center console inspired boat, much like a yacht that has a cockpit door or even a center console that's got that side loading tuna door. I can step on that side cooler, come through that side door, have easy access to get on and off, unlock that door, close it. As we work our way forward, we've got that open, I'd say roughly 14 to 16 inch platform. I step up because we've got room in the cabin below, bathroom and all, and I've got three 16L stainless handles to safely come all the way up the boat and grab all the way through so even if we're underway running that top speed of 44 knots i've got something to hold on to full glass tempered windshield with that aggressive italian design and then we've got the awesome social zone up front of sun lounging i find that every time we use this boat my wife enjoys laying out up here with the kids be bobbing around up front sitting in the different seats these lounges up here are pretty long for somebody that's an average adult to lay out on. Both backrest cushions have supports that we could kick these up, put the supports down and raise the cushion like that. If we want to sit up front, we've got the wraparound couch right here with cushions that kick out up here. We've got put away right now since the boat was sitting in a slip, but you would open these, we've got the sun in my back, and that backrest kicks out, seat cushions kick down, and we've got a rear facing seat to hang out with these folks with the table clicked in and we can hang out out front and have cocktails. No shortness of entertainment on the big Azimut 40 Verve. I've got a wonderful hip height bow rail where I can look like Kate Winslet on the Titanic as we ride out to Shell Island. But what everybody wants to see is the cabin in the interior. So we're gonna 
pop down below, get a good look at that, and we'll wrap this walkthrough up. As you come into the galley of the 40 Verve, there's something you notice that you've never noticed on a center console before. We've got a big cabin. Um, you've got competitor boats that are, they claim to have a cabin down below, they claim to have a berth down below, but they obviously haven't seen the Azimut 40 Verve. As you look at the marble countertops that Andy panned over, the stainless steel sink and wash station, the TV that has not been yet rung and, or you know, hung up and rigged, we've got a cooktop, a microwave, ample storage and cabinets down below, we've got beautiful gray wood flooring, access to all of our switch panels and stereo, in-floor storage, huge bathroom and shower with a separate door. One of the biggest complaints I've had from a lot of spouses, they get on these huge center consoles that are even larger than this 40 foot verb. And I say 40, it's got a 42 foot nine inch length overall. They don't have a separate head. Uh, my wife isn't very happy about using the restroom with the door open where everybody can come in and be out. The comfort of coming into this bathroom beautiful wood floors that are also drains. We've got a shower uh, with a wand, hot and cold water, toilet that works and functions like a real toilet, very modern sink. Um, we've actually got a functional bathroom that she could close off and have that privacy versus being out in the elements. I set up, up above that we had a two plus two galley down below. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know of another boat within this side range until you get up in those 50, 60 plus foot center consoles that has a cabin to offer like Azimut has to offer. This seat down here, you know, across from the kitchenette could be used as a uh, full size bed. These backrests will click up and sit in those racks and you get another eight inches or so of bed space. If we know we're entertaining, we would kick this cushion off. We're going to raise this table up. Remove that cushion, because I don't want to eat on this beautiful Italian white leather, but we've got a place to come down here and have our dinner, our breakfast, cook our omelets, do whatever, uh, and enjoy the boat for longer term. It's going to extend your days on the water. You're going to enjoy the boat for longer hours or many nights, whereas a traditional center console or even a day boat cruise boat offered by some of the competing brands is going to be a four to six hour day you're done the kids are done you got to come back a boat like this with the kitchen this has to offer the seating the bedding the master room that we haven't seen yet is going to be a longer nicer day on the water uh, not only because it's top-notch quality but we've got so many amenities that i can take a break from the elements i could come down here enjoy the air conditioning have me a scrambled egg breakfast with my hot coffee uh, and, and extend my day or even my weekend and stay overnight. We're gonna take one little break here. We're gonna pop into the master bedroom, get a good look at it before we move out. And we're gonna wrap this up. Appreciate you staying with us. Sunglasses on for a boat that shines this bright. Cheesy enough for you. I look at the master bedroom that's up front on a day boat. I've got to remind you as we step down below, we're still on the Azimuth 40 Verve. We're in the galley. I want to look at the headspace here. I'm six feet tall, 230 pounds, and I've got plenty of room to wander around and have all that headspace. I've also got a separate thermostat and air conditioning unit up front, cedar oak cabinets either side, TV, huge comfortable bed with port lights to look outside and bring in that natural lighting. I don't get very excited about all these new models because everything seems to be the same as something I saw in the past. The Azimut 40 Verve was something that absolutely blew me out of the water with how huge the bedroom and the galley and the floor space we had up top was available. The boat's absolutely astonishing. You've got an opportunity to see it yourself here in Marine Max Panama City Beach in stock. We've got a multitude of models across the board from Marine Max on a national scale at 60 plus stores for you to get your hands on one yourself. Come out and appreciate the boat in person. Come out and see why Caleb's so excited about the Azimut lineup. 40 Verve, Marine Max Panama City Beach. As a recap, we are at marinemax.com if you want to get a better look at the photos, our videos, and other boats that we've got to offer. Uh, if you've really enjoyed the video and content, I appreciate you sticking through on this long walkthrough. But uh, take a look at our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the page, comment, engage. Let us know what you want to see. Uh, and give us a ring, 850-708-1317. This is the Azimut 40 Verve. My name's Caleb Peevler, Marine Max Panama City Beach. Come out and see us.